Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F-A-80C and we're looking at the AGM-65F Maverick. This is the naval version of the Maverick and it can be used against naval targets or land targets. We can have them on pylons 2, 3, 7 and 8 with a total of 4. Before we can use the Mavericks we have to align them and we have to call the sensors. So at this point we're going to go master arm on, air to ground. We're going to select our Maverick F and we'll press again. And you can see that we are now of timing. This will count down from three minutes. Once it gets to zero they will be aligned and called and ready for use. We're now in an air started aircraft and there are some targets in front of us. Before we get any further let's look at today's control. To fire the missile press and hold weapon release. To slew the seeker head we will need to push and hold TDCD press and use TDC up, down, left or right to slew. Cage or uncage the seeker head. We've got cage on cage. So let's repeat. Master arm on, air to ground, maverick. At this point we can see that the maverick has a cross through it as it does in the HUD here. That means it does not have an IR lock and it cannot be used. We can see there are map Fs on the four pylons that we can step between the different stations or pylons like that. If we press again on map, we go to the actual maverick, maverick screen. Currently station 3, we can change through the mavericks again like that. Do we want the fuse to be instantaneous? Delay 1 or delay 2 will have instantaneous. Are we firing against a ship? If we press that there, then the tracking gate, which is that there, will modify itself to track a ship and the guidance of the missile will be changed to hit a ship at the waterline. We're not going for ships today. We have the IR polarity here, white hot or black hot. We are 99% sure that this does not work, as it says in the user manual, so we're going to skip over that for the time being. Field of view, we can have wide or narrow. When we're in wide here, we can see the corner extents of the narrow field of view. Step again. This is saying it's caged at the moment. That means the center of the selected Maverick is fixed in position at the bore site, pointing forward. If we can uncage it by pressing the cage button, and recage it if we want to. If we want to slew the seeker head around, we will press uncage. We need to make sure that this screen here has the TDC activated. So we're going to press sensor control switch left, and that will give this diamond up here, which means that the TDC is now on this screen. We can now press and hold TDC depress while using the TDC slew keys to move around and look for a target. And we can lock on anything that is giving off heat, like a car, a tank, or even a building. See if I can lock onto one of these little buildings down here, whatever it is. I move it there, I unlock, and you can see that the map F is no longer crossed, it's no longer crossed, and we can now fire if we wanted to. Now let's go and find a vehicle. Other things to look for. We also have a representation of the seeker head slew position by that triangle you can see in the HUD. As well as that, we have a boss, an off ball site cross. This cross here, which has just disappeared, will show you how far the seeker head is off the ball site. That is ball site there in the cage position and we can see the limits as we get to the edge limits of the screen. Now let's go lock up what we would consider a real target. We've got these little jeeps down here, so we're going to first change the field of view. And let's find a guy here, put him in the tracking gates here, and watch what happens to the tracking gates. You see they close up, that means they've definitely found a target, and they are ready to fire again. There is no cross here, there is no cross here, and we're good to fire. All we need to do now is to press and hold weapon release. There is no ranging information here because it is simply an IR sensor. Range is roughly 7 to 10 miles, but the realistic range is the range of the ability to lock something up on the screen here. Generally speaking, if you can lock something up on the screen here, you will have the ballistic capability of destroying it. Weapon release. And while that's in flight, that will take a while to get going. So we're going to select our next station when it's already selected for us. Uncage. Let's go and see if we can find another target. Mm, looks like we'll have to wait until the smoke recedes. Okay, the smoke's isolated down there, so let's go for another target. Change the field of view. I like the look of that guy there. Tracking gates are closed up. Fire. So that shows using the system manually with the TD slew. Now I want to slave it to a target position. So I've already got a target position in mind. Waypoint uh, 1. So we're going to go to waypoint 1. And I'm going to press waypoint designate. And what that's done is automatically slave the current seeker head of station 3 to this point here. And as we can see it's already acquired a lock and we can fire immediately. The triangle 
the diamond sorry is the target position the triangle is the position of the seeker head We can designate a target point not just through a waypoint but through a T-pod or the HUD or other sensors like that. So if you have a T-pod you'd usually designate the target through the T-pod and then slave the Maverick to the T-pod target because the T-pod is a much easier way of finding a target. I hope that helps and see you later.